base to the lines speedometer. And what's going to follow here is I'm going to drop this into a conversation that we were having during our office hours with uh, live support auto hockey office hours with Tom from Tab Nation and Tank from the Auto Hockey Forum. So in this, this is just an excerpt where we were talking about version two of Auto Hockey and its release and changes, you know, like should we include a V1, a V2 in our script, some other things like that, comparing it to the how it happened with Python or even the, you know, one versus 1.1 with Auto Hot, the vanilla version of Auto Hockey versus the version uh, 1.1, the Auto Hockey L. It's, you know, it's going to be very problematic because V2 breaks a lot of things. They're not backwards compatible. And so the question is, you know, where should we put this? the scripts? Should we have them on a different forum, on a different sub-thread? You know, lots of ideas around this. Uh, and just, you know, is it going to get adapted? You know, should, who should adapt it? Really, should we be switching to it? Lots of good discussion. Also, I want to put up this webinar over my head here. If you're not familiar with version 2, Dimitri led a webinar on V2 and talked through some of the new interesting stuff that's in it, uh, a lot of the pros and some of the cons, but it's a really good webinar. Jackie and I discuss in a podcast, I don't think it's released yet, but it should be out soon, should we be including like V1 or V2 in our scripts? The short answer is probably yes, it sure doesn't hurt, right? So I hope you enjoy this video. I thought it was very interesting listening to, uh, you know, what driving forces of why did auto hockey get successful in the first place? And are we going to step away from that if we switch to version two, which, you know, who's going to like it more? Mostly programmers, right? Because it's a little more, you know, a little more strict. And a lot of the things that people hate about it is what the people that come to it that love it, you know, look for. So I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So back to the V1, V2. <laughs> yep. Sorry. That's right. Yeah, it was interesting stuff. Um, so we, you know, we know V2 is not back. It's going to break a lot of things, right? A lot of changes. Yep. Similar to, in, in, in you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? It's just, it's different. Similar to how vanilla and V1 or L, whatever you want to call it, um, had a lot of, a lot of changes. 1.0 and 1.1. Yeah. And one, one. <laughs> yeah. So the currently, and, and I don't remember if you actually said like, did you make a decision? I, you know, or, or what's the, is there a debate discussion about what to do? There is, there, there is, uh, it, and it, and it's reoccurred over the years. All right. So, so the whole version two syntax breaking thing, this has been a conversation that's been going on at least since about 2008 before there was a version two. For wow. that. I, I, I want to make sure we understand that this is a really old, argument. Wow. Um, it's been going on a very long time. Uh, there are some really deep seated opinions on the subject um, that I still don't understand all of. I, um, so, so the last discussion uh, on the staff forum ended in the agreement to add a sub forum under ask for help and scripts and functions and tutorials. Um, I don't know why they decided version two development deserved a whole separate forum, um, but scripts and functions and ask for help didn't. I, I, I argue very strongly that this needs to be like a decision point before you can even read or view content. Because they're so different. They're so yeah. different. Um, and and I, I always harp on the subject of auto hotkeys target audience was never programmers. It was people who do not know how to nor necessarily want to learn how to program. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this whole this whole fight and push for objects, you know, there are things where objects make more sense and stuff, but it should not be a push to get everybody to use object oriented programming. It's not it's not a concept that's easy for the uninitiated to digest. It really isn't. Um, and, and as a self-taught programmer, I remember my own journey through this and it, and it wasn't, it wasn't easy then. And, and, and it's, um, it was only when I took an actual, uh, C class 
and had a really good professor explain how compilers allocate memory that I understood any of the argument for objects versus anything. But that is so far low level that it makes no sense to force the subject to those who are uninitiated. No, I think you're right. I mean, I, I definitely, in the sense of the, I, I guess it gets back to the, what, discussing the purpose of auto hockey versus the people that come into auto hockey, right? Uh, and I think there's debate there we could say about that. But the vast majority of people that come in, they're like me. They're not programmers uh, and don't want to be a programmer. And I want something simple I can pick up and start using. And it's amazing that auto hotkey, I can do a lot more advanced stuff, but I don't have to start off with that. Right. You don't have to. You can choose to grow into the more advanced stuff. Like I can automate a browser without ever doing anything with com. Right. But yeah. I won't want to after I have. Yeah. That's, that's so, so true. That's so well put. That's that's okay. I did a video actually where I was kind of talking a lot a lot about this stuff where I was I did it like a bunch of Chrome automation ones and I, I started with like comms, uh, you know, talking about how you can't do that there. So here's some fancy ways you can do it. But I did one video where I was talking about doing sim commands. And I was like, I was like right away in the video, I was like, this is not the way you want to do it, but if it's your only option. I'll show you how to do it, which is sin commands, and it's terrible. But that's how I I came into auto hotkeys was literally just sin commands for uh, you know different things. And you know, like you were saying, I moved into you know learning what comms were, all that kind of stuff, and it's just like I was blown away. I but, mean, uh, it, it, I another video where I I kind of asked people's opinion v one versus v two, and I mean, it, it people had strong opinions, and it came down to it, the people who were obviously coders. Yeah, they were like, oh, version two, everybody should convert. It, it's way better. But then I had the people who were like new and they're like, you know, I'm just going to stick with V1. Well, so so here's the thing, okay? And, and and this is easy to forget because this 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 goes back to what Joe was alluding to at the beginning of the conversation about um, how I ended up in this position with auto high key that I'm in. And and it, and it started with Chris Millette deciding, you know, hey, I'm I'm done. Okay, I, it's time for me to step away and hand it off, right? Uh, and, and he picked who he thought was the best person for the job at the time. And and you know, uh, it's easy in hindsight to forget that at the time, it there wasn't a lot of debate on that. That that Titan, a.k.a. Polly, uh, was, was the best choice. Um, but, but he went apeshit quick. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it happened quick. It, it really, really happened quick. And um, so uh, th there was some argument, and, 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 and I... I uh, I'm of a believer that, that uh, you know, uh, the reason capitalism works is because people can vote with their feet. So I just staged a parallel form. And I mean, it wasn't a week before all of the admins had signed up. I didn't even announce it. Hmm. I never told anyone. They were so unhappy with what the psychopath had done that they just were looking for anything else. And it just happened. And finally, one day he pings me out of the blue and he says, hey, do you want the domain? I, I had asked for it a few times. But yeah, I don't know if, Tom, are you aware of what he's even referring to the with the I, forums? I've heard some stuff, yeah, before, but I never knew, like, okay. Deep down, what was going on? I kind of yeah. Heard. It was it was about 2012, uh, and, and I and I staged this new forum in uh, 2013 in October. Uh, by 2015, uh, Polly had agreed to surrender ownership of the domain and um, any remaining material uh, because 
at the end of the day, if we're not serving that target audience, and I had a conversation with Chris uh, mm-hmm. behind the scenes um, about all of this. And, and there were a couple of commitments that I made to Chris as part of this. Number one, um, autohotkey.com will remain ad-free, period. It's not up for debate. Um, There will never be a paywall of any kind for any reason, for any product at autohotkey.com. Somebody wants to do something like that and start a new domain, even if it's me, and do it there. Um, And that our target audience, Chris and I discussed this, the target audience was non-programmers, okay? And so every time I get into a conversation with the staff or anybody else, it is from the perspective not of me, someone Mm -hmm. who is well-versed both at a low level and a high level about programming languages and APIs. It's not my perspective. It is the perspective that Chris and I agreed on when I started this, and that is our target audience is people who don't know any better. Okay. They don't need to know any better. They don't want to know any better. And that's okay. Give them the simplest version of what they need. And if they want to dive deeper, then it's an option, but we're not pushing them there. There's no, there's no push. So, this doesn't really work for me because as a, a person who doesn't think in terms of uh, hierarchies, as a new person, if I see ask for help, I stop looking. I'm not reading further. Are you going to read further? If you find what you think you're looking for? Do you, <laughs> no. typically, do you find, typically find your keys and then, um, you know, look for other things that you don't need to go to the grocery store? Um, no, you don't. You, you stop there. And, and so that's the way most people's brains work. So um, I, 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 I suggested, you know, hey, if we're going to – if it's time because Lexicos is finally committed to a syntax. Okay? Um, and, and, and there's a beta. <laughs> Okay, we haven't had a beta yet. <laughs> we had an alpha, but not a beta. Um, and, and so it's time. It, it's time to, to, to really give people the choice. And, and really, if we're going to have an ask for help, we need to specify. This is my argument because of, of my viewpoint. Um, it needs to be part of me clicking this, right? I, I need to... I need something that forces the choice. I need this to either prefix with version one or version two, or I need this to be uh, what's called a forum category where when I click it, I don't get a list of topics. What I get is a choice between version one and version two that I have to choose before I can read or post content. Conversation kind of makes me think of, you know, other things too, not just like the forms, but, you know, how that's going to play out on, you know, Joe's a lot, a moderator on the Facebook. How's Reddit going to play out? You know, are they going to make a second subreddit? You know, we're already right. doing, uh, a gaming Reddit for. Well, uh, this, so that's the other. That, yet with. That, that's the other side of it. Okay. Because if there's no delineation, um, there are these links to our form from all 